on a moonless night high in the Afghan mountains. A lone predator trains his sights on an unsuspecting target. His muscles tense in preparation to strike when a sudden burst of light reveals his position. Unveiled by the flash of a camera trap, the snow leopard slips silently away, disappearing into its mountain hideaway. But the hunter is also being hunted. U.S. troops fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan are now being trained to confront a new enemy, the illegal trade in endangered species. Wildlife products made from threatened and endangered species like the snow leopard are readily available on U.S. military bases and in local markets in Iraq and Afghanistan. Unfortunately, military personnel are being lured into buying these items, which cannot be legally transported across international borders. Wild animals have been dubbed the new blood diamonds, as their capture, slaughter, and trade around the world provides money for more lethal activities. This illicit enterprise threatens not only the planet's wildlife, but also funds violence, murder, civil war, human and drug trafficking in troubled countries. Now, the Department of Defense and the Wildlife Conservation Society have joined forces to combat this threat. Iraq and Afghanistan may be thought of primarily as combat zones, but both have a surprising array of species, including hyenas, wolves, jackals, bears, birds of prey, and nine species of wild cat. Now, military police trained by the Wildlife Conservation Society regularly conduct sweeps of vendors displaying and selling illegal wildlife products on U.S. military bases around Kabul, Afghanistan. Sometimes a mink coat will be kind of thin, but that's because they're using summer pelts. When we first got here, you know, I was absolutely blind. And coming here into country and actually seeing it firsthand has been quite the eye-opener. And as a matter of fact, it's actually made me take it a lot more seriously myself. Products include furniture made from wildlife parts, fur coats or clothing made from pelts and skins, and taxidermy animals. Figurines carved from ivory or knives with handles inlaid with bone and ivory this one right here is bone. are widely available. These items are most likely entering the country on black market trade routes that supply illegal ammunitions and drugs. In a sad twist, the defenders are also part of the problem. While many species have survived years of conflict, wildlife face unlikely pressure from the very people charged with rebuilding. Contractors and the military community are actually driving the trade in rare and endangered wildlife in Iraq and Afghanistan. The U.S. enforces action against the illegal wildlife trade through international, federal, and in-country laws. Military personnel are not exempt from these laws. Violations can result in fines of up to $250,000 and up to 20 years in prison. If it's restricted or it's on the endangered list, we seize it. And if it's violating federal law, then they could potentially run into some big money fines and, and arrests back in the States for even possessing some of the, the furs that are being sold here in the country. Service members may also be subject to punishment under the Uniform Code of Military Justice, which could include loss of pay and loss of rank. Where are you guys doing? Many legal souvenirs are available in local markets, such as carpets, artwork, jewelry, shawls, or other crafts. It is important to choose these types of products when selecting gifts and souvenirs to bring home for friends and family. The threats are real. Biodiversity loss endangers the mission and jeopardizes chances for post-conflict recovery for communities who depend upon natural resources for survival. The simple act 
of not buying products made from wildlife is something you can do to protect yourself and the world while serving overseas for the military. If you see or suspect illegal wildlife trade or products, report it to your chain of command. The survival of some of the most amazing animals on Earth depends on you. The time to act is now.